Masters Learning Center at IVMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 14th question from the digital SAT. Test 1, Module 1 is from the Blue Book app. And 14 reads, at how many points do the graphs of the equations y equals x plus 20, y equals 8x, intersect in xy plane? So, <clears throat> it's a number of different ways to do it. Number 1, these are two linear equations. How do you know? Well, in the form y equals mx plus b. And you can see in the first equation that your m is 1. There's nothing attached to the x, so you assume that it's 1. And your b, which is your y-intercept, your m is your slope, your b, which is your y-intercept, is 20. Um, and then in the second equation, y equals 8x, your slope is 8, and your y-intercept is 0 because it's not there at all. So <clears throat> one thing is whenever you have the intersection, when you see the word intersect, what you got to do is you got to do a system of equations. And we could do this system of equations. There's a way of knowing without doing anything. And so one thing, that answer choice D, it says eight points of intersection. Um, <clears throat> two straight lines, they could only have no intersections if they're parallel. They could have one intersection if, and it's always when they have different slopes. So there you have your answer already. Or you could have infinitely many solutions if one line is exactly on top of the other. <clears throat> so first off, there will never be eight solutions to a system of, <clears throat> of linear equations. There'll also never be two solutions to a system of linear equations. There could only be, like we saw, infinitely many, none, or one. So here's the thing. Anytime you've got different slopes, there's always going to be one intersection. So you see the slope for the first is one, the slope for the second is eight. There is only one intersection. Because if they're parallel, then they're the same slope. If there's infinitely many solutions, they're the same slope. Now, now, how would you do this, do this, which is really unnecessary, but what you could do for any time it says intersect, you could do a system of equations. If y equals 8x in place of y, you put 8x, and then you've got 8x equals x plus 20, and you subtract x, you subtract x, these x's cancel, you get 7x equals 20, divide 7, divide 7, and your x equals 20 over 7. So there is one x, there is one solution. Um, but again, that was unnecessary because as soon as you see their different slopes, then you know that there's one solution. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with systems of equations, maybe systems of linear equations. Is there any question you'd like to answer from any official PSC tier, SC tier, ACT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot if anyone. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out our one minute video on TikTok. Um, the other thing is, if you're actually doing a system of equations, always ask yourself, should I eliminate or substitute? For this one, we would substitute because variables are alone. It's the same thing as setting the equations equal. Um, anytime the numbers are lined up, the variables are lined up. Um, that's typical of two equations in standard form in the form of ax plus by equals c. Then you would eliminate and then you want to ask yourself, should you eliminate X or eliminate Y? It is not asking for X or Y per se. It's asking for how many solutions. So it does not really matter. Um, and then lastly, if you're eliminating, you'd want to ask yourself, which equation would I multiply by what? Anyway, have a great day, everybody. Bye.